Welcome to Drum Chart Builder. My name is Liz Ficalora, and I am the designer of Drum Chart Builder and the author of How to Write a Fast and Easy Drum Chart. This new software program creates a one-page drum chart of a song. This program will enable you to build a drum chart on your computer and take it with you on any mobile device to your sessions, practice, or shows. This video is a quick tour of the features available in this program so you can build charts your own way. So let's first sign in. When you sign in, you'll come right to a chart manager. This is where all your charts will be. This is where all your set lists will be. You can list them in tens, twenties, thirties. Same thing with your set lists, fives, tens, twenties, so that because you, you're going to have hundreds. So it's really easy to move around and be able to find and search what you need. You can you can do an alphabetical order by pressing on name, or band, or updates, both with the set list and your charts. At the top of the menu is your main menu. This is where you can edit a chart after you select it. This is where you can view the chart to see the way it's going to look on your mobile device. You'll be able to make all charts and set lists into PDFs when you choose this. This, is, this icon is for copying. So if you have the same song with a different artist, you can copy that song and then make the changes. This is for deleting any, any set list or song chart in your account. And this is a help menu, so you can go to videos or need some instruction on all the different things in the toolbar, charts, or your set list. So let's go to a new chart. At the top here, if you press new chart, it will open up to a new chart. Down here, if you need a new set list, you press on this icon and it will lead you to a set list. Let's press on new chart and open up a blank chart. This is what a blank chart will look like when you get it started. If you want to save it, go back, go back to the chart manager, press this icon, and it will save your chart to your manager. This again is for viewing your chart to see how it's going to look. This is your zoom and your zoom out. This is your MP3 player and of course your help. The MP3 player looks like this and you'll be able to upload any song that's in your computer so that you can have really good control over it with this player. So I'm going to load up a song. Now it's loading into the player and what's happening is taking it from my computer <clears throat> and it's putting up into the server so that it will be available to you also on your mobile device. So if you're at a rehearsal and you need to hear that song again, you'll be able to hear it easily with each chart. So once you've got your song in there, press select and then apply to chart and the name of the song and the artist name goes right into place which is very, very convenient. Now you can move this player anywhere you go. Also, if you have Apple Music or a player like that and you want to use that instead, which I've done that, you can choose your Apple Music and then make it a mini player and put this in the bottom here. And then your Apple Music player also can be on top of your chart, making it really easily easy to access and work with on your chart. With the MP3 player in place, you'll be able to play your song. To the right here, if you need to figure out your time signature, there's a drop down menu for everything. There's also a metronome. You'll be able to tap out your tempo, do some fine tuning to it, faster or slower. When you've listened to your song, you figure out if it's a straight feel and the genre. And it's all done with really quick drop down menus. Over here, I created a three tier group here to work with. The top is the song form. If you press on that box, you'll see all the song forms that you can choose from. As your song is playing, you choose the song form. With the next box is where you're gonna you're gonna start counting out the bars for each song. So as it's playing, you'll be counting. And it makes it very easy by highlighting each number. Let's say that's the intro is eight bars. 
Down here is drum instruction, and I've added this feature because I felt I needed to know exactly what, I, what, w what had to be done. If it was like a drum fill or stops or accents, all of this was listed here so that you can use all of these. If there's no drums, it's a vocal pickup, all stops. And also what we've added is an insert figure. So if you need to insert a figure into that spot, for let's say a drum fill, you'll be able to access it and put it in anywhere that you need to have it in. You can also put it in each one of these tiers. Insert figure, as you can see here. You can add bars, you can insert bars, and you can subtract bars. You can add more or subtract. So you can see how far your chart can get. At the bottom here is my favorite feature. This is where you can have a drum pattern. You can add it here or you can add it up here. Once you've listened to your song and you've counted out your song form, add a new pattern. Choose the pattern and there's a, there's a preset library of patterns here to choose from all set ready to go. So let's say the pattern is this very simple one. Select it and it falls right in place. Then label it with the song form. You, if, if that pattern is not what you needed, go into the editor. So you have the editor here. You can also show the detail of the line labels. In these line labels, that's the hi-hat, that's the snare, and that's the bass drum. You can also change these to anything that you might need, such as if you want to do a drum fill, you can write Tom 1, Tom 2, Tom 3. If you want to change the patterns, you go down here. Let's see, I'm going to change the bass drum pattern a little bit different. I'm going to put it like this. It's really fast and easy. Now the pattern's been changed. You can also change your time signatures. You can save your patterns, and you know, that's how you save them into your pattern library. You can have one or two bar patterns. You can also show the time signature if you want to. So then you put insert into chart, and there it is. It's right in place. So that's how you'd create a chart, a blank chart. Now once you've got that done, press your folder icon and you save it to your manager. So that's how you build a chart. The next video you can check out, I'm going to talk about the set list. Thanks for watching.